Welcome to your Go Market Update and Charts of the Day for today, Monday, the 20th of November 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, to lead you around what's happening as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. We saw small gains in the US on Friday as markets remain near key technical levels to the upside, both the SP 500 and the NASDAQ, touching resistance at the close of the session. Earnings season, of course, has been one of the drivers behind this and it is nearing its end. With around about 92% of the S&P 500 have reported so far. High performance versus expectations continuing over 82% of companies reported so far have beaten EPS expectations, which is quite a staggering number. US futures don't look as though they're going very far in early Asian trading. Fairly flat to slightly to the downside. Asian markets generally mildly positive, but again, any gains are mild and we are seeing a bit of choppiness in most indices. ASX is trading around about 0.2% of the upside. We're seeing energy stocks outperform on the back of a slightly higher oil price on Friday. The VIX index is weaker again, suggesting this market calm at the moment. And European futures are pointing to a cautiously positive open this afternoon at this stage. We're seeing the US dollar continue to sell. It's breached the 200 EMA support on Friday. Uh, Fairly neutral this morning. Uh, gold is neutral and continues to eye that 2000 level, although that doesn't look as though there's much momentum in Asia so far. Copper was one of the outperforming commodities last week, it breached the medium term trading range and approaching the 200 MA to the upside. And oil rebounded after Thursday's early July lows that we saw. Bitcoin is near 18 month highs. That 38,000 looks like an increasingly important technical level. Breach of that, and we could see it up to 40. It is the end of earnings, really, this week. We have had the PBOC rate decision out, no change in the Chinese interest rate. Outside of that, very little data to report on today. We've got German PPI this afternoon. Throughout the week, it's a fairly quiet week from a data point of view. Global PMI numbers towards the back end of the week at the highlight. And of course, we've got Thanksgiving Day on Thursday in the US. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. We are liking the look of the euro yen. You can see we did start quite strongly in the euro, but over the last couple of hours, we've seen some buying coming into the yen across most crosses on the back of a feeling that we may see some BOJ intervention fairly soon. And so you can see the euro is dropped uh, down towards this 162.74 level. In the first instance, we could see it down around 30 to 35 pips. Um, but maybe even ultimately test at 162.20, which would be a 50 pip drop from where it is now. On the ASX, as we said, a fairly quiet day, but we are like in Megaport Limited. You can see that bounce off the 200 MA after this earnings drop, We've almost made it back up to around about 10.93. If we breach that, we could see it up to around about 12.13, which would be around about a 10% return on investment from that price worthwhile being patient to see if it sets up accordingly trade safe and see you again soon bye bye for now